Hello and welcome to another HiCAD short clip. In this video, I would like to introduce you to the new features in the field of steel engineering connections. A new K bracing will be available in the HiCAD 2025 version. This is the new K bracing with I beams as bracing members. When the K bracing dialog appears, the I beams are initially selected as columns. A graphical preview is displayed immediately. This makes it easier to define the K bracing. The different connection variants can be selected using the combo box for the type of connection. Depending on the position of the I beams, different connection options are offered in the K bracing dialog window. A distinction is made between three connection variants. These are as follows the bolted connection variant, with or without slotted plate, and the welded variant. Here, I will choose the bolted connection with the slotted plates. The connection beams and the plates can be defined on the semi-finished products tab. Furthermore, the usage for the generated welded assemblies and the boltings can be specified. Also, the gusset plates that are generated by the K-bracing can be defined. The geometry values of the gusset plates and the bolting positions can be defined precisely and intuitively using the images. The positions of the gusset plates can be defined on the Connecting Points tab. Here, too, the images and the graphical representation help to determine the exact position of the plates. The slotted plate for this type of connection can also be precisely defined. Here too, the graphical representation helps to quickly and precisely define the dimensions of the plate and the bore grid of the bolting. If the I-beams as columns are in a different layer, the K-bracing can be generated using the specified connection variant. In the same way, the bolted type of bracing is defined in the dialog window. The dimensions of the gusset plates and the position of the connections can also be defined here. The clear graphical representation in the dialog helps you to define all dimensions quickly and accurately. The connection created in this way can be modified and adapted as required at any time using the feature log. Further innovations in the connection libraries concern the connection's base plate and anchor plate 2101 and the cross bracing 2602. With the connection base plate and anchor plate, the part structure of the connection can be freely defined from HiCAD 2025 onwards. In this case, it concerns the definition of the part structure of the welded plate. The new options now allow the threaded bolts to be optionally assigned to the welded plate. At this point, it is up to the user to decide whether the welded plate should appear as an assembly, that is, with threaded bolts, or as a single plate in the part structure of the connection. If you select the Assign to Assembly option, the threaded bolts are assigned to the welded plate assembly. If the option is deactivated, the welded plate will appear as a single part in the part structure. The shear connector or other anchor connections are always assigned to the anchor plate assembly. The extensions to the cross bracing 2602 concern the turnbuckle with the blade screw DIN 1480. Further connection options will be available with the release of the HiCAD 2025 version. These are the following options. The default connection. This is the connection with the connecting plates. And connect directly to gusset plate. If the bracing members are connected directly to the gusset plate, 
there are two connection options, depending on the side of the connection. In the dialog, the side is marked with A and C. All further settings for the semi-finished product definition, the connecting points and many other options are available in the dialog as before. That was the brief overview of the new features in the field of steel engineering connections in HiCAD 2025. Thanks for your attention. I hope you liked the video. See you soon.